Hello all, my name is Krishna and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, today in this particular video, we will be discussing about competitive programming. We'll try to understand why exactly is competitive programming important, what can it bring as a benefit to you all, you know, and is it actually necessary? Is it actually necessary to have a very good skills in competitive programming and all? We'll all be discussing about this particular thing. Now, most of my subscribers have already told me to discuss about competitive programming and how we can actually start with respect to competitive programming right so guys I'll, I'll make sure that i will make you understand this particular video all about it and why i'm actually creating this particular videos guys because from tomorrow onwards right uh that is tomorrow evening that is sunday evening uh which is somewhere around 8th i guess yes 8th march i'm going to upload videos on data structures and algorithms now let me tell you one thing what exactly is competitive programming altogether guys understand that if, if I consider about myself, I was in my engineering days, I was understanding maths, you know, I used to uh, learn maths. At that time, you were learning about differentiation, integration and many more topics. At that time, I could not relate that mathematical problem to a real world use case. Nowadays, the same problem is happening in the college days for many of the students. They are learning data structures and algorithms, but still they are not able to apply those techniques on a specific use case when it is actually given. So competitive programming is all about that. You know, it will be a kind of competition where they will be coming up with a use case. They will be telling you that you have to actually solve this particular problem by writing your own logic with the help of some data structures and algorithm, considering some time constraints, some considering some parameter constraints and all. And based on that, you have to actually get the output. Now, I have seen many of the students, many of the people who are somewhere around zero to eight years or six years of experience, you know, at that time, they have a very, very good command on data structures and algorithms, but still they are not able to crack the competitive programming, you know, let it be any competition as such. And it is going to happen, guys. When I tried competitive programming for the first time, I was clueless. The, the use case that came into me, right? They told me to use linked list. I know about linked list but I was not able to apply for that specific use case. This is the most important thing. And really that actually led me to think that what am I learning? I know data structures and algorithm, but still I'm not able to apply those techniques over here. And definitely guys in just one month, you'll not be able to learn. You have to practice different kinds of problems. Definitely there are a lot of resources in the internet, which you can actually start. And I'm telling you why this is important because understand guys, product based companies like Amazon, like Hotstar, you know, like other companies, if I consider like LinkedIn, Facebook, Google, they are pretty much involved, you know, in asking the first interview question, first interview question, when you go for an interview in this top product based companies, the first thing is that they'll give you a problem statement. And then you then they will tell you to solve that particular problem statement by writing some code snippet. You know, that is the most important thing. And definitely you have to use data structures and algorithms over there. But to solve that particular use case, whatever they have actually given, it requires a kind of skills of competitive programming. It is pretty much important. And definitely guys, I've seen from my friends also, you know, there are a lot of my friends who have actually got interviewed in Amazon, right? And the first question they have, like they'll be asking related to, to some specific use case, you need to solve that with the help of some data structures and algorithms. But now again, I'm telling you, they have that skill of data structure and algorithm, but still they are not able to apply it. So this is the problem that is happening right now. And really this particular problem needs to be fixed and it can only be fixed when you are just not understanding the algorithm, but you're also understanding how you can apply that particular algorithm to a specific problem statement. And again, guys, there are a lot of resources for that. I'll be mentioning some of the resources from where you can actually practice hackathon and all. And some of the website's name also I'll be giving in the uh, given in the description box. But understand, guys, for freshers, it is purely very, very important. So in the upcoming classes, I have already announced in my live Q&A class that I'll be uploading videos on data structures and algorithms. Now, data structures and algorithms will try to learn in a complete different way. First of all, We'll try to understand that particular algorithm. Then we'll try to solve some code snippet on that. And then we'll also try to solve some competitive programming with respect to that particular algorithm. So in this way, the learning pattern will be actually too much better. 
when compared to the previous one what you had in your college days even though i have the knowledge of uh, data structure, data structures and algorithm but still i'm not able to apply that particular knowledge in some competitive programming competition and guys all these product based companies because understand product based companies like amazon and all right they try to develop a product from scratch and definitely for building the product from scratch you need to write a lot of logics some better logics with the help of data structures and algorithms and that will only be possible when you have some kind of experience in solving that particular problem yes sometimes you may face difficult to solve that particular problem because that problem may be very very difficult but if you practice more and more then automatically you will your brain will be adjusted to think a lot to think of the logic that what you can do yes i know selection sort i know some more sort but how do i use i know linked list but how do i use that particular data structures inside something else right to solve that particular use case that is the main technique behind uh, competitive programming and trust me guys all the top most developer in google right facebook amazon who are actually writing code from scratch with the help of data structures and algorithms they will be building bigger tools you know and that tools are actually solving some problems okay and that is all written with the help of some very very simple logics you know and that was only possible when you practice more and more guys when you are practicing then only it is possible so in the upcoming videos after this i'm going to start a playlist on data structures and algorithm we'll first of all understand the algorithm part then we'll go one step ahead try to implement with the help of simple python code and then we'll try to also solve some very good use cases with respect to competitive programming and then your learning pattern with respect to one algorithm when it gets over you'll be able to learn a lot and trust me this this thing for freshers for people who are between 0 to 8 years of experience even people who are actually getting interviewed for software development engineer uh, role too that we basically call it as sde2 in uber in amazon right they are basically asked to actually write code with respect to they'll give you a, a problem statement you know and they'll tell you to write a simple uh, use some simple data structures and algorithms to solve that particular problem after that they'll try to understand what capabilities you have right so that is just like an entry level it will definitely be helpful for you so uh, this was all about this particular video i hope you like it please do subscribe the channel and if you have not already subscribed and guys i'm going to upload all the data structures and algorithm videos every day at least one i'll be seeing you on those classes so thank you one and all have a great day ahead thank you bye bye